Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, this is your reading for the mid of October. This is a general reading, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Aquarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. If you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Coming back to this reading on YouTube, I am shuffling the cards, I'll lay them down and then we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you are thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. Let's get started now. Back of the deck, we have Sun card, the Devil, interesting. I think so, Aquarius, rather than this being someone else's energy, I feel like this is your energy where you are kind of obsessed around trying to forget someone, obsessed around trying to cut the cords with the toxic people or people from the past and this obsession is stemming from some sort of fear aquarius you fear like am i still connected to people from the past have i healed myself what if i am still energetically connected to someone what if i'm i'm like when that toxic person is still able to access my energy okay is it because of these people I'm experiencing blockages or challenges in my life? Is it because of these people that I'm not able to move forward in my life? Okay. So it's, it's fear plus some level of desperation to cut yourself off from certain people in your life. You know what? What is actually happening is it's a it's kind of building up a reverse effect because of the fear and desperation to remove these people from your life okay you are constantly thinking about them aquarius you are see our thoughts are very powerful and because of that fear and desperation you are thinking about these past people you are like no i want to cut the cords with these people i want to do that you know i'm going to read 100 articles regarding how to cut the cords and i'm going to see in numerous uh, videos regarding how to cut the cords and i've done that in the past and still i'm not able to move forward let me do it again and again okay it's like your constant thoughts about or the f because of fear you're co you are like consciously subconsciously you're thinking about people from the past and that is actually you know because of that there is this energetic connection that is still possibly alive between you and someone from the past or between you and people from the past so first of all i i personally feel aquarius like I mean, whatever energy I am feeling since last so many days, so many years, I've been doing readings for you guys for long now. <sighs> for many of you, you have left your excess behind and it's been at least more than a year, two to three years, or for some of you, even five to ten years. Okay. But I see like a significant period has been passed after you have left someone someone significant from your life. For some of you, yeah, uh, I'm not denying the f uh, fact that for some of you, a recent breakup might have happened. Okay. If it's a recent breakup, then this is your past person who's thinking about you. They are kind of angry and pissed off that you're not willing to come back to them and you want to leave them on a permanent basis. If this is not a recent breakup, then this is someone from the past, 
an old ex old flame okay and an energetic connection is still there between you and this person okay and i told you one of the reasons why there is this energetic connection one of the important reasons i'll say or rather one of the important reasons majorly contributing towards the very existence of energetic connection between you and this toxic person okay five of swords four of swords eight of cups okay so aquarius first and foremost you have to know your priorities okay like what is important for you where you should be dedicating and devoting your energy okay you should be dedicating and devoting your energy towards more fruitful things more productive things things related to future better things related to future it is likely i'll not deny that someone from the past is trying to come back they will try to gain your sympathy they will make attempts to gain the sympathy but the eight of cups is telling me that for some of you it's a final goodbye that you are saying okay for others of you you are sort of realizing okay so if someone from the past comes back you are you're you're rejecting them you're like no i don't want you so that's a very good decision that you are taking congratulations for that if that is not the case i simply feel with five of cups four of wands four of swords and eight of cups that wherever you are right now aquarius you have come to a conclusion that maybe in the past you did not experience growth in your life because there were certain other blockages that you were experiencing but now those other blockages are not there so now that those other blockages have gone away you are expecting that you will you will experience a better life better growth okay a forward moment in your life but maybe you're still feeling stuck maybe you're still feeling like i'm not moving ahead so probably some of you have come to a conclusion that wherever you're staying right now there is a lot of saturated energy and you need to do something about it okay or the existing circumstances the existing circumstances in your life those existing circumstances have created a like there is a, a of the saturated energy is kind of in and around you continuously the saturated because of the existing circumstances the saturated energy is there continuously with you it has kind of engulfed you and that is why you are feeling stuck in your life that is why you are not able to move on okay eight of cups is telling me that some sort of call some sort of brave decision is needed from your end aquarius for you to move ahead okay for you to experience the progress and the growth that you wanted or that you want okay so some sort of important action like leaving getting relocated somewhere or maybe resigning from a job or maybe change of career or maybe leaving certain relationships okay some sort of important action is warranted from you right now to experience the growth and the happiness that you are looking out for okay it's like you are the one who is going to design your life you are the one who is responsible for your happiness and for your joy so that realization probably is hitting very hard in the month of october and with eight of cups i see that you are taking some important decisions to walk away from something to move to a different place okay to start a new life somewhere or maybe bring important changes live a leave a relationship leave a job or start something new in your life okay so i see that you are taking some important decisions for some of you you are uh taking this decision this energy is getting spilled over in, in the months of november and possibly even december so this action you might take this action in in november or even in december okay 
So let's explore more about your love life. We have seven of uh, pentacles and we have five of swords and then we have nine of wands and again seven of swords. It would be a very good idea for you to leave the existing circumstances. You know what? There are people around you or there are energies around you who are constantly working to pull you down. Okay? And I sort of feel like you have no reason to stop yourself from taking the required action. Okay? There are, there are certain energies around you. It's a very strong indication that you have certain energies. You might not see those energies uh for some of you these energies are present in the form of people around you okay but there are energies in and around you which are actually pulling you down there are energies in and around you who want to keep you suppressed who don't want you to grow they are like no you better stay here this is where you're staying and this is where you're gonna you know whatever is happening it's happening here you are not moving anywhere else and we are going to control you and I, I see there is a lot of controlling energy Aquarius and you have to free yourself from this energy okay as far as your love life is also concerned yeah there are certain blockages which got removed in the recent past but like I told you you thought that these blockages were actually stopping your progress but maybe those blockages contributed to a certain extent but there are actual other things that stopped your progress or that stopped manifesting the right kind of love in your life maybe relocation may like I told you uh, you should there are certain actions that are warranted from your end right now. Either it's relocation, either it's a job change, career change, taking care of your health, change in certain habits of yours. There is something that is draining you to a large extent and some sort of action is definitely warranted. Okay, Energies, there are, there is a, uh, there are certain energies that are actually stopping you. We have Sun, then we have Death and Rebirth, the Queen of Swords, the Page of uh, Swords, and then we have Six of Wands, and we have Emperor. Someone who is meant to be a part of your life is, is amazing. Whoever is meant to be a part of your life is amazing, but this person is at a far off distance. Universe is purposefully keeping you and this person apart at the moment. Because you are meant to deal with these existing energies. Aquarius okay these are the energies that you are meant to deal with these are the energies that you need to free yourself from and how you're going to free yourself by taking certain actions that are warranted from you think what are the actions that you need to take why you are feeling stuck what exactly is happening in and around me and in my life because of which i am feeling stuck or because of which i'm not experiencing the growth that i should be experiencing okay like run certain chain of events at the back of your mind and analyze do some introspection you know you will be able to connect the dots there are these answers that you will have to find out for yourself whoever is meant to come towards you is very wise very mature a spiritually awakened soul this person is also undergoing through a major change in their life okay so when both of you are ready, at that point of time, the universe is going to bring both of you together. This person is definitely undergoing a major change with the death and rebirth. All right, I hope this resonates and hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. The link for the extended is in the description box and comment section. Okay. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. If you are interested in personal readings with me, the details of the same are in description box and comment section. Okay, take care, have a great time and bye-bye Aquarius.